Hi, and welcome to Tooltips by Arlene, the channel where you can increase your knowledge and productivity and learn about some features that you may not have discovered before on the applications that you so regularly use. I look forward to helping you expand your knowledge and I hope you have a lot of fun in the process. Today's topic is all about how to use PowerPoint to record the keystrokes on your screen. What we'll be doing is we'll be making a recording of a variety of different keystrokes. We will then find them in the PowerPoint application themselves and save it onto disk for future use. So start off by opening up PowerPoint, going into your either a blank presentation or an existing presentation, click onto the insert button, and then on the right hand side, you will see where it says screen recording. Click onto screen recording. That will drop PowerPoint off the screen and take you into whichever screen it is that you want to um, video edit or video record. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the area that I want to record. So I'll just click on the select area button and identify what area it is that I want to record. So I'm going to record that area over there. And as soon as I'm ready, I'll click on the record button. And we are recording. So today I'm going to, in Excel, I'm going to pop in today's date into the cell over here. And in order to do that without typing the date or having to remember what the day is, I'm going to hold the control key and press my semicolon. That will then drop the date in on whichever cell you happen to be on. So that's my first step. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some calculations of those rows and columns. I just want to do a total of them. So I'm going to highlight the entire range, including where I want the answers, and simply click on my auto sum. And that will give me my totals. So that's all I want to do in this particular recording. I'm going to stop my recording and there's two ways of doing it. The one way is to call up this menu bar and stop it from there. But if you don't want that little button to come up, if you hold down the shift, the, the, the Windows key, the shift key and the Q, that will then stop the recording. It has put the recording into my PowerPoint presentation. And there's a few things I can do with that. If I right click on that, I can um, style it, I can trim it, so I can shorten or lengthen the video, I mean shorten the video, or I can put a picture on top of it, I'll just find a picture, a stock image, and insert that in. And here we have our video. Okay, it is in, it, it currently embedded in this PowerPoint presentation. When I run it, before I run it, I'm actually going to mute it because otherwise you're going to have me talking in, actually I might just stop talking in this video and then you can hear me talking in the original video. I won't mute it. I will just stop talking and play the video. And we are recording. So today I'm going to, in Excel, I'm going to pop in today's date into the cell over here. And in order to do that without typing the date or having to remember what the day is, I'm going to hold the control key and press my semicolon. That will then drop the date in on whichever cell you happen to be on. So that's my first step. Okay, and then I'm going to pause that video now. And what I'm going to do is save it to disk where I'll right click on it and then just click on save media as. And you can choose where you want to save it to, what you want to call it. And it's saved as an MP4 file. Okay, now that I'm finished um, with my recording, I can then say, place it anywhere that I like and insert it onto any document. And I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you've learned something new today. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tooltip.